Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction. Today we are going to talk about Rose the Wit Bucator. So Rose is the main character in one of the most famous movies ever made, I think, um, the Titanic. In the movie she portrays one of the survivors of the Titanic disaster, the sinking ship that hits the iceberg. I think we've all heard the story at some point in our lives. It's a very famous story which was made into a film kind of telling the story of one of the survivors and then we go back in time and see kind of what happens and we see Rose who is a high-class lady set to marry a man quite an unpleasant man that she doesn't like and they are heading from England to America on this ship while she's on the ship she falls in love with a lower class man with all the of course accompanying problems <laughs> that arise from that again I don't think I have to tell you too much about this story it is such a well-known thing so I am going to recreate Rose's iconic look today this has been requested a lot many people absolutely love her look in the movie which I can totally understand because she is gorgeous that hair guys oh my gosh <laughs> can we just talk about the hair for a bit beautiful beautiful auburn curls so I'm going to show you today how to recreate Rose's iconic look from the movie Titanic so let's get started right ahead with the makeup so I'm going to start by applying a good amount of foundation we want to go for that very kind of upper class perfect porcelain skin so I'm going to apply a foundation blend it out all over my skin and then I'm going to take a concealer and just conceal my dark circles and any imperfections that I may have so when everything is blended out I'm going to take a translucent powder and I'm going to powder off my face quite heavily when you look at pictures of Rose you can sh see she's very powdered which is consistent with the makeup they used back in that time which is the 1910s so don't go too lightly on the powder here all right, so before I move on with the face makeup, I'm going to first do the eye makeup. So I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow primer on my eyelids and then I'm going to take this neutral eyeshadow palette that I have and I'm going to take one of the colors that is just ever so slightly lighter than my natural skin tone and I'm going to apply this color all over my eyelids from my eyebrows then to my lash line. Then next I'm going to take a color that is a few shades darker than my natural skin color and this I'm going to lightly blend into the crease to create a little bit of depth, a little bit of definition to the eyes but nothing too noticeable or heavy. I'm also going to blend this color underneath my eyes a little bit so just apply a light dusting of this underneath the eyes and then I'm going in with a even darker brown and a kind of smaller more sturdy brush and I'm going to apply a line underneath my eyes just with the brown. So for the upper lash line I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to make a very thin line just above the lash line. Try and really make this as thin as possible. So when that is done I'm going to just go over very lightly with that sturdy little brush that I used earlier just to make sure this is a nice smooth line, um, blend everything together but we don't want to smudge it too much. Alright so next step is curling the eyelashes and applying a little bit of mascara. I'm going for a very light mascara here, I want it to be barely noticeable. Just pretty much thin my lashes and that's pretty much all. I want from it. So for my lower lashes I'm going to coat them in a little bit of mascara and then straight away go in with a brush and comb out any clumps that may be happening. The lower lashes on Rose or Kate Winslet are very very subtle so be sure not to apply too much mascara here. And that is the eye makeup done so moving on to the eyebrows I am going to take a little bit of eyeshadow in the same color as my eyebrow and I'm going to shape it a little bit more like Kate Winslet's eyebrows so I'm gonna just make them a little bit more pointy on top and kind of thin on the bottom so when I have a shape that I like I'm going to take a eyebrow gel and just comb my eyebrows into place uh, again I'm combing them upward making them a little bit thinner than my eyebrows are and really accentuating that sharp angle at the top Okay, so back to the face. I am going to use a little bit of contour powder to just accentuate my cheekbones a little bit on the very outside of my face. Again, because Kate has a little bit more cheekbone than I do. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and move on to my nose. And I'm just going to ever so slightly contour my nostrils a little bit, again, to resemble Kate's a little bit better. Okay, so for the cheeks, I'm going to take a nice rosy blush and I'm going to apply this focusing on the apples of my cheeks and blending backwards. Rose wears a quite noticeable blush, so don't be afraid to apply a lot. So moving on to the lips. Now, the most important thing when you're doing Rose's lips is to maintain a very sharp cupid's bow. So I'm gonna start by actually making some straight lines on my cupid's bow and then expanding from there. And I am going to overdraw a little bit because Kate has beautiful full lips. 
So I'm just drawing my lips in with a kind of cherry red pinkish lip liner and then I'm going to fill in the rest of my lips with this as well and go over with again a little bit of a dark pinkish lipstick to get a nice mix of kind of red and pink and there is your makeup look done so moving on to the hair we are going to try and recreate those beautiful curls of roses so i'm going to start by separating out my hair into a top and a bottom half and then spraying all the hair that is loose with some heat protector to protect it from the heat obviously and then I'm going to take a tapered curling iron and this is going to create a little bit more of a natural curl. So this is what I'm going to use. And while I'm curling, I'm going to actually twist the hair around the curling iron. And this is going to create not those spiral curls that I usually do, but more like natural, almost wavy, more irregular curls. So that is what I want for this look. So I'm just going to curl the entire bottom half of my hair and when that is done I'm going to let down the top of my hair and do the same thing to the top of my hair. At the bottom I curl all of my hair away from the face and on the top I'm going to curl all of my hair towards the face just so that I have a little bit of variation. And I'm also creating a little bit of variation by changing up the placement of the hair on the curling iron. Obviously the more on top I place it the wider the curl will be and the more I place it towards the bottom the tighter the curl will be. So just play around with this a little bit. Alright, so when the hair is curled, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to completely cool down. And when it has cooled down, it is time to create my half updo. This is a hairstyle that isn't necessarily in the movie itself. It's more kind of inspired by Rose. It's something that I feel like she would have worn. I'm going to create a pretty little half up. I love my half ups, as you guys know. I'm going to start by gathering a section of hair from my crown. I'm going to twist this and create a tiny little poof at the back. And then just pin this down with a few bobby pins. And this is going to be the base of my half up, so I'm going to pin the rest of my hair to this. So I'm just going to take individual strands and pin them back with a bobby pin and I'm pinning them to that base that I just created in the back. So one by one I'm just going to pin all of these strands back but I am making sure to leave out a few strands in the front just to have some face framing bits which Rose often has and I am going to pin away a part of my bangs just kind of playing around with, with this trying to make it look nice. So when the front looks good, I'm going to turn around and just grab the top half of my hair and I'm going to twist this into a really quick bun. I'm pretty much just going to twist it around once and then pin it down with some bobby pins to create a kind of easy, quick, messy-ish hairstyle, which is again something you see Rose wearing a lot throughout the movie. And when that is pinned and you're all satisfied, then the hairstyle is done as well. So there is your rose from Titanic look completely done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to leave your requests for Beauty Beacons and Beauty Beacons of Fictions videos in the comments below so I can pick someone up for next time. I have another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I will have a link in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.